Although not the first jetliner, the Boeing 707 was the first successful jet airliner, putting the company at the forefront of the commercial aviation industry. The 707 was created after an extensive flight test regime of the prototype, which Boeing gave the assigned number of 367-80. This was the same aircraft that Tex Johnson barrel rolled in 1955 over Lake Washington while a quarter of a million spectators witnessed the capability of the airplane. The industry would soon be questioning the reliability of the jet engine as the comets began experiencing their structural failures, Boeing's slow development allowed for the bugs and issues to be worked out during the prototype phase, resulting in what would become the first successful jet airliner. In addition to this, the Boeing 707 could carry up to 179 passengers, while the comet could only carry 44. The 707 began the 700 series of Boeing aircraft that includes the signature 727 through the 787. Because of complications with de Havilland, the British Overseas Airway Company, BOAC, would eventually have to purchase competitor Boeing's aircraft because of their higher efficiency and better profit margin. This is incredible since de Havilland was based in Britain. Bill Allen was president of Boeing from 1945 to 1968 and ushered in the jet age. It would be hard to imagine a single person whose decisions have had a larger impact on the global commercial airline industry.